have just a casual interest in motor racing, most people are well aware of the phenomenal success of Paul Tracy and Scott Goodyear on the IndyCar series. Well, this week we're going to meet another young Canadian driver who also hopes that someday he too will be a household name in Canadian motor racing. Every time I think about Greg, uh, uh, I think about how much of a catalyst the guy was. Here's look at look. this, look at Greg sliding that car off of there. And after yellow, little Al was up at the front of the pack, Moore was all the way at the back of the pack, and is closed up and is sitting on his back end now. Greg Moore, that was exciting. Yeah, it was. If we'd got the white flag when we got the checker there, I think it would have had him in the one, but, uh, you know, it's a good job for my guys, you know. Chef did it so nice and so smooth, he looked like he was a 10-year experience driver. <laughs> Well, at least I can still carry him. <laughs> yeah, it didn't fall over. No. The person that maybe he relates most to was another Canadian, Gilles Villeneuve. Look, look at the stats. Gilles didn't win a championship, won a few races, but people still talk about him in this, these revered tones. Greg was the same. Watch what he did with a, a racing car. We, we all drove those crazy car cars. You know, yeah. they, they bit, they bit hard, and he, yeah, he drove them with such abandon and such flair that, uh, yeah. I think that's what one of the reasons he was so loved by by the fans, by by his fellow competitors. Hey, I mean, I was a little too bad for him. It would it could have been a good player as one too, but uh, most importantly, as I won. Indeed, and what a way to start a championship chase! You only got what 19 more to go. Exactly. 